Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's that time of month again where we go through the top 10 games on Wax plus a few bonuses. So I hope you all enjoy this. This is, a, this is my personal opinion as far as the top games on Wax as of right this second. As of the time of this recording, obviously things could change. Um, there's a lot happening this month. There's a lot of really cool events. I did a whole video on this. Uh, as far as everything that's happening in November, which could shake up this list quite a bit when we come to December. But as of right now, this is the current top list. Before we jump into the list itself, let me talk about some of the key items as far as the criteria to for this list. First of all, and first and foremost, this is my personal opinion. This is what I believe from a gaming perspective, a gamer perspective, and someone that actually reviews a ton of games on Wax. This is my personal opinion of the best. It's not based on volume. It's not based on player base, bot base. It's based on a gamer's opinion. Please also make sure that you take this all with a grain of salt. It is not financial advice either. Please make sure you do your own research. I'm not a financial professional. Make sure you do your own research before you jump into a game. And last but not least, as far as the top 10 plus the few bonus ones, all of these games are launched. It's not speculation about what a game could potentially be. These are games that I've actually played. I've actually jumped into them. I've been able to play whether it's uh, an early beta or I've actually played on an, a consistent basis. So I'm very aware of these games and the way they actually play. The only two exceptions are going to be the first two that I talk about, and these are the games that you should keep an eye out because they're going to be launching soon, and they have quite a bit of hype around them. One is extremely popular and well-known. The other is not so well-known, but should be well-known. All right, so let's go ahead and first with, start with the two sneak peeks, the things that you should be aware of that are coming out soon. First of all, Music Mogul. We've all heard of it. We've all seen the packs. We've all seen the discussions around it, um, but we haven't seen the gameplay around it yet. So it's, we've seen the Medium articles that explain the gameplay, but we want to see the details. The, just because of the hype around this game and the team around this game, I wanted to make sure that this was included on the keep an eye out list. But I, I can't make a full assessment on it until I can actually jump in and play the game itself. But make sure you keep an eye out for this. So let's jump on to the next one. The next one is not so well known. It's got huge potential and it's scheduled to have an alpha early in December. That is Avalon the Droids. This is a th going to be a 3D medieval style RPG game that gets you out there similar to a lot of the games that you, if you watch my channel, these are the games that I really enjoy. It is a little pricier, so be aware of that. So it's going to be a little more expensive, at least as of right now. Um, they have a few assets on uh, the Atomic Hub. Uh, so you can get a pass now and be eligible to start the game in December, or you can go ahead uh, and dive in a little deeper. Um, I will do a full review on this, but I wanted to just highlight it out there as a game you should keep an eye on because it is coming, it's right around the corner as far as the alpha goes, and you'll be able to play in there. I haven't been in the game yet itself, so I, the graphics that you see here look fantastic, but we don't know how it actually is till we jump in. So keep an eye on, out on Avalon. All right, now we're going to get to three games that are top tier my perspective but didn't quite make it on the top 10 list for one reason or another i would say they're probably top 15. Uh, i just i don't want to put a number with these because they're outside the top 10. first and this is one that often often gets told to me as far as should be on my top 10 list over the last month i've had a chance to really dive into it i did a a gameplay review on it about a week ago that is Prospectors. This is a slow burn mining style game. It's got a lot of depth. If you go ahead and splurge for the land and you go that route, it has depth to it, but it's very slow paced. Um, this is the reason why it's not in my top 10. Uh, I think it's interesting. I think it's got a lot of potential. It's got the low entry point. It's got the high entry point. It's got a good team behind it. It's got some a lot of details and depth. So it's definitely worth checking out, um, it, but it just didn't make it in my top 10 list for me. Um, if it was a little faster paced, I probably would probably might have made it in the top 10. Next on the list is one that I always get yelled at. This should be in your top 10 list, but I'll explain why it's not. It's top 15, but it's not my personal top 10. It is Forge Arena. 
I am not a first person shooter fan. Um, just suck. I suck at it. I'm not saying it sucks. I, there's a lot of great people that play some awesome games and this is an awesome game. So please don't take my words and twist them. This is a very good game. If I was a first person shooter fan, this would be top five easy, but I'm not. And I'm going with my personal opinion. So this is a top 15 game for me. Awesome team behind it. Solid game should be checked out if you're a first person shooter game. So please understand that. Again, I'll say it one more time. If you're a first person shooter fan, you should take a look at this. It'll probably be top five on wax for you. Me personally, I'm not. So that's why it's in the top 15 and I wanted to mention it on this video. All right, next on the list. And this one actually slid off the list. This was on the list for the last couple months. Unfortunately, it's wax a world. Um, I, and it only slid right off. It's still in the top 15 for me and it's in the top 15 for me for potential. It's got a lot of potential, but right now it's a little bit one sided uh, just because they only have the first phase released. They do have the housing expansion coming. They do have a specialty project that they're working on that they, they hinted at, but haven't given any details. So there's a lot more to come with this and a lot more potential. I'm very excited about this one, but I think it needs to drop, drop more features before I can put it back on the top 10 list. But I think that it's got a great team behind it. So I, I think it's only a matter of time till that happens. All right, number 10, let's jump into the top 10 list for me. All right, we have at number 10, the Adventures Guild. The only reason this sits at number 10 and probably won't go any higher on my list is because it's a Discord game. It's a, uh, it's, it's a game, it's unique taste to it. Um, there, there's not a lot of people that really enjoy Discord games when there's other games with fancy graphics and pictures. Um, and I, I'm one of those, unfortunately. I like the team behind it, I really do. It's a solid team. Um, I like the concept of the game, the RPG style, the quests. I really like that. I just don't like the interface. That's my only complaint about it. That's why it's on top 10 because it has that solid, but I don't see it moving up the top 10 because it doesn't have the interface that's nice to use. It's again, a discord. It's a unique type of taste, um, but it is top 10. It's a solid team. I can't complain about it. Number nine on the list is Splinterlands. This is going to be on the list for a while because it's solid. It's Huge team behind it, huge fan base behind it. If you're a card game fan, it is, if not the best game, card game on Wax, it is one of the top three card games on Wax. Um, it's just, it's they continue to add to it. It's It's been around forever. I can't make a top 10 Wax list without putting this on there. There may be some day it does get bounced off if a better card game comes out. But as of right now, Splinterlands comes in at number eight on my list. Number seven is a newbie. A newbie to my top 10, but not a newbie to Wax. That is Wombat, more specifically Wombat Dungeon Master. But I want to encompass all of a Wombat project into this because it had they have both the game, the Dungeon Master, but they also have a lot of utilities with the wallet and some other things that they have built out there, which makes it a complete project. I like projects that do aren't just one dimensional and this is not one dimensional at all. So I wanted to make sure that I added to the list. It also, if you are a fan of the game, it's a very wallet friendly, we'll call it game. You can go out to the Atomic Hub and you get, get a solid setup for a low amount of wax. Um, I'm, I'm not saying any returns behind that. I'm not saying any promises, but it's a low entry point style game if, if you're interested in that. And it does have the solid team behind it that are focused on the overall growing of the project. So that's why it comes in here at number eight on my list. Number seven, we have a returning one. That is Million on Mars. This is still, despite all the criticism recently, one of the best strategy games on Wax. There is no doubt about that. They've made some adjustments to the game. They've nerfed some things that, that used to be really good and it's kind of gotten people on the a little bit grumpy, we'll say. Um, but it's still a very solid, awesome strategy game. You can't deny that. Um, you just have to adjust your strategy to go around with the, the adjustments in the actual game itself. So I highly suggest anyone takes a look at that if you haven't had a chance to take a look at it yet. Um, it's basically you go out to Mars, you get a settlement, and you grow from there with a lot of depth and features around it. Great team behind it too. All right, now let's go to number six. This one was on our list a few months ago. 
it dropped off the list and I'll, I'll say it, it's my fault because I, I didn't give it enough of a chance. So I'll take blame for that one. Over the past few weeks, I've really do- dove into this one um, and, and really talking to the team, talking to the community, talking to other players, uh, just getting a real handle around both the, the current state of the game and also the future potential of the game. And I'd like it. I like what I'm seeing with this. And this is Nova Pangea. Uh, right now, it is a very resource management style game, but they they have a lot of thoughts for the future. It's got one of the best, if not the best, art styles of, uh, on wax. If you take a look at their chapter one cards, their chapter two cards will be out, out at the end of this month. They're continuing to update, resolve bugs, make it more player friendly. Plus, they're going to be adding a lot of content over the next few months, and their vision is is really solid. It's unique. So it's going to be fun to watch them. That's why it comes out number six on my list. The next five are, uh, you, you've seen these before on my list, and the, the very familiar order too. All five of them have some huge events happening here in November that I think could shake up the top five. Um, we'll see what happens going into the December uh, top ten list. But we'll go ahead and start out with number five is Immersus. They were number five on the list last year or last month also. Uh, They did drop their new planet expansion this week, which looks awesome. And in talking with Dan and the project team, they have some cool things planned for here in the near future that that could really help them jump up this list. Uh, It's tough competition. Once you get in the top five of, of Wax Games out of hundreds of Wax Games, it's tough to move up, but they are doing the work to try and move up. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the new planet, highly suggest you do. I did a sneak peek video, not a sneak peek video, uh, uh, basically a walkthrough video of the new planet. So you can see all the details and they have a lot more planned for it. Number four, again, a familiar face at this spot is Farming Tales. They have the new Wax Chester release coming out on Monday, November 28th. That is going to be huge. We've been waiting for this for what, nine, 10 months. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's been a while. But it's going to be awesome. I've had a chance to have a sneak peek of the, the area. Looks great. I ha- I don't know all the, the partnerships that they're doing. I know some of them. Um, and they're fantastic both in WAX, play to earn projects, and also in real life projects. So they're really blending a lot of that together. So it should be really fun to see new WAX just to come out. Solid game. I, I encourage you again to take a look at this one. Number three. Season 5 is rolling and rolling and rolling. About a week into it, this has grown so much over the last month, two months, as far as the player base goes. Everybody's trying this out, and they're liking it. There is a free-to-play option if you if you want to go ahead and test it out. Um, it's a resource strategy-based game that has seasons and competitions, leaderboards, um, once you're involved in it, you just have a lot of fun with it. So I, I encourage you to t- test it out. I'm doing a series. I'm doing a series again. I did one last season, doing one again this season. So if you have a chance and you want to take a look at it, go for it. Um, number two on the list is Taco. Number one and two, I always say, can flip-flop in a heartbeat. Um, Taco is the overwhelming, overall, um, most complete project on Wax. It has a lot of utility, it's got games coming out, it's got platforms, it's got the taco swap feature to it, and it's got a huge team, awesome team behind it, and they are continuing to put out quality. I don't talk about value of NFTs often, but the value of their NFTs either stay consistent or they go up. And they also have a Cryptia coming out here on the 15th, which is a strategy-based game, not just like Brigade, which is a clicker, they, everybody's aware of that. But Cryptia is going to be a strategy-based game. It should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to test it out. I'll obviously be showing you when I test it out. So there's some cool things that are happening here with Taco. Definitely top two out of hundreds and hundreds of projects on Wax. Without a doubt, top two. Could be top one. Who knows? By next month. Number one on the list is Castles. And they also have a huge expansion coming out here in November next week. It is the dungeon expansion that we've been talking about for months and months. They've been doing weekly, weekly, weekly events, whether it's small things or big things to keep people excited. They have a strong team behind them. They have a huge community behind them. 
awesome economics within the game and just the concept and the playability is fun. Um, I'm really curious to see how the gameplay is for the dungeon expansion. I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. Um, I don't think anyone has except for the project team, but I'm excited to bring that to you next week once that comes out and is available for me to do a video on. But again, Castles has been in the top number one spot on my list for months and months and months. And this expansion that's coming out next week could be a blockbuster for them. Uh, so keep an eye out for it. Who knows? They may still be in the number one come in the December top 10 list, or they may slide back and someone else has a bigger event that comes out. Top five is really solid on this list. Um, I would even say this whole top 10 list is a solid list that, that you should check out if you're looking for a new game. Again, not fan financial advice, but just kind of giving you a heads up. Hey, you might want to check these out. I hope you all have a great day. If I missed anything, please let me know if I missed any games that you really enjoy in the comments down below. Please make sure it's a game that's actually launched. Um, I'd be happy to take a look at it. Who knows? It may make the December list. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.